run a, a fleet of five trucks, um, four of them on British Touring Cars, one at the moment is, is back at base not doing anything, that was our Porsche team last year. We have a long standing relationship with Hopkins Race Transporters based down in Bristol who have always built my trailers going back a long time. Um, Phil and his team down there do a great job, you know, I, I sketch out on a fag paper what I want, he turns it into reality and it's, it's my dream truck if you like. Um, and some of them he has as a standard truck, you know, and, and keeps it as a standard thing, but we've got here, the trucks I've got have been built custom just for us. Um, you know, it's a big part of what we do. We're a travelling circus. Everything has to go in the trucks. Everything we need, might need, might not need, panels, parts. It all goes in the truck and goes with us. And if you need it in a hurry, you turn to Vinny the truck and say, Vinny, where's this, where's that? And he comes running back with it most of the time. Um, he's the chief truckie. He's in charge of the trucks. So, yeah, I mean, that, that's a big part of our business. And I, I do love my trucks. Right, before I take you on a tour of the trucks themselves, um, I'll introduce you to Vinny. Vinny is the chief trucking for Motorbay, so he's in charge of the trucks, the servicing, what goes on them, how they're loaded, making sure they're ready for his other drivers to come in um, and, and you know, do their job. Um, obviously, the, the, also the job of the truck is, is the tyre man as well as the garages and so on. So they have quite a lot to do. Let's look around the insides first. They've all got nicknames, this is called Hospo. This is the meeting room. Um, this is the Hospo meeting room where we sit in, have quiet talks with people, you know, you only want to come away for a minute, talk through something serious with people or talk to a driver. This is the room that's away from all the other rooms. This is the other room that's on the back of um, the meeting room. This is the, the engineer's room. It's nice and roomy, nice and light. Um, as you can see, we have two of our engineers sitting here, probably doing something, I have no idea what they do. Um, but obviously this is a hub of what goes on with the cars, what goes on with the drivers the engineering decisions that are made, the, de the team briefings, you know, the team manager will come in and brief with the drivers and engineers after each session. Um, it gets quite busy. We also have, even though it's stacked in the corner with its wires everywhere at the moment, this is our damper dyno, um, which if we need to get to dampers, then they can discuss dampers in here and have a good look at them. The most important thing I've just seen that's in here, obviously, engineers are like cops, they like to get their donuts. It would seem that by James has gone missing, who normally sits here is the larger engineer we have. Um, he has his pack of 12 to get him through the day, so hopefully that will get him through to free practice. Well, no, what's it race today? It's race day today, so might get him through to end of race two. I don't know what he's going to do for race three, but there's 12 in there, it'll get through him okay. Well, this one's 420. His nickname is, is uh, Cup Truck, has a slightly different uh, use again, different configuration, different layout. So, this office here will house Ollie, the team manager. David, our engine man, and at his moment, Rory Butcher watching one of his cartoons he watches on Sunday mornings. Oh. He's probably watching Tom and Jerry, maybe even Teletubbies, because he's quite, he's into the classics. Um, as you can see, they're very, very hard at work. Obviously, that's a good episode of Teletubbies he's got going there. But this room is the um, room for the engine man, team manager, and the media man sits here as well, it would seem. Um, this side of it here, this is really the workshop. Um, for the dirty area because obviously the mechanics need their gearboxes and things doing and yeah, there's always a gearbox jig set up ready to put a cluster straight in if there's a problem between races or there's a ratio change needed and basically everything is just storage space for parts for fire extinguishers whatever we need brakes everything will have a, a, a use and a reason for being here it's all laid out all prepared and Vinny keeps it fresh and nice this is geek room <laughs> this is where we keep all our geeks this is our engineering data department. They are the guys pulling all the data out the cars, examining it and making the engineers look good. And in here we've got the three of these guys work, working through the data from yesterday. Um, Dom's just turned off his cartoons because I've just <laughs> turned up. He's actually looking at a lap of, uh, of circuit from yesterday I think from Rory is it? Indeed. Indeed. So yeah, so they pull the data out, make sure the systems are right in the cars, make sure everything's working and then obviously they do the actual data of what the driver's done in the car. So this one we're going to go into now is four, it's called 411. Its name is Shred Truck. S H E D E R E T. Shred, as in Shredder. So this one is different again. Uh, we call it our clean truck because all the spares in here are the clean spares. There are electrical parts, there are um, radiators, anything delicate that needs to be kept sensibly out of the way, ready for use. You know, you just to pop the door up and there'll be stuff everywhere. I can't quite pop this door up this morning because Rory Butcher's got one of his gadgets here. I don't know what it does, it's made by Halfords, which is a Team Dynamics thing, so I don't quite know where we got that. It keeps his, his um, racing juices uh, nice and cold, God knows why, but it does. But all these drawers here, they're all electrical spares, there are some sort of hardware stuff in the cupboards, but this truck, is, we try and keep it as the clean spares. We also house the drivers in here, because you need somewhere to put the drivers out of the way, because 
you can never believe how much stuff comes out of their bags. They spread out over a kingdom if you let them have a kingdom to spread it in. So we try and contain them to this small room down the back, which is nicely air conditioned. All the trucks are air conditioned, all very nice. Everywhere you go, you'll see lockers, um, radios for the guys to come in when it's time to go racing. Obviously the whole team's wired up on radios. The radios are here in the cupboards ready to go. They come in, take their radios, go off and use the radios, bring them back and put them back on charge afterwards. So again, all electrical stuff is in this truck. Um, in order to try and keep the drivers tidy, we allocate them a locker, as you can see. Oh, look at that, look at the fruit in there, look. All the healthy things in this cupboard. That's Rory's cupboard. Let's see what's in Ollie's, that'll be interesting. And they're probably a load of McDonald's wrappers or something. Um, no, that's very sparse. Well, he's keeping to his diet at the moment. There's no secret stash in that one. Um, so we then open the, the doors to the, the little driver room in the back here. Um, fully air conditioned for them. These are helmet dryers. They can just pop the helmets onto the dryers. Um, and now all their helmets will be dried out. Hopkins made that for a special. Um, and then obviously they've got their room. It's not too bad actually. They've hidden all their bags and stuff underneath. So up the stairs, we go to the war room. This is, um, this is my office basically. They don't like coming in here because normally they means they're in trouble. Um, a bit untidy, I'm sorry about that. But it's, it's again, used for meetings. It's my place to talk to you through Alan Gow or anyone I need to talk to if I need to talk to sponsors, drivers. Satellite television, obviously, for watching football, which is very important. But this truck is, is uh, as I say, this is my office. This is where things are kept that I need to be in charge of. Um, and that's it, really. Um, obviously, you have lots of trailers. You need a, to, a brand of truck to pull them. We swear by Volvo, um, they're good sturdy trucks, we've had a fleet of Volvo for some time now but I must admit that new Scania on the road, if I win the lottery I'm going to have to have some of those new Scanias, they're a fantastic looking truck. But uh, we stick with Volvo, tried and tested, we've got five of them, they've been brilliant. Now I know there's a little Renault over there as well, but he's just our little spare. So that's us, Volvo through and through. Oh, that's the insides of the trucks, um, very brief tour. So I'm not the man that keeps them clean, Vinny's the man that looks after and keeps them clean. So what I'll do now, I'll hand you over to Vinny for a minute, take you around the more mechanical side of what physically goes in and the dirty bits I don't get involved in. Over to Vinny. Actually, we utilise every inch of space that we can, especially at the minute because the season's so tight, we have to carry what we can. So on here, so you see like, so it's just, everything is just storage. Everything is just storage. However I can store stuff, I've stored stuff. This is what we call the swan neck. So you open this locker, and this just goes right back to the other side of the trailer, and then right back under his office. So basically above here is the war room. And as you can see, every inch, and in here I've got bonnets over there, uh, all the ducting, and then like we carry axle stands, jacks, everything. Everything that you might need, we carry. So that's basically it on this truck, under there, there's a generator, so wherever we go, if there's no power, like Fruxton, when we go to the circuit at Fruxton, when we go testing, they don't have much power, so we can just run all three trucks. Each truck has a generator, so we're just basically self-contained. We move on to the cup truck. Yet again, the swan net. This has two massive cupboards that goes right over. Just open this one out. This one is all bodywork. So in there we've got all the bumpers, they, they've got a spare front and rear bumper each, a set of wings each, and then the splitters and the seals. As you can see, every inch is just storage. Going back to this one, we carry two cars on this. That's all we take on the top deck of that, because obviously we lose space because of David's office. And then on this one, and the hospital truck, we'll take three cars. But up the top, top deck of this one, is where we carry all the equipment. So like Pratt Perch, spare engines, you name it. There's more bodywork up there. We have so much bodywork, it's unbelievable. So on this one, the hospital truck, this would generally just be the hospitality. So it would have an awning coming off of it. And then you'd have all your tables and chairs underneath. There's another massive swan neck locker down there. That carries all that, all the tables. But at the minute, this doubles up as offices and extra storage because obviously there's no hospitality and things are so tight and such a turnaround that I'm able to carry more stuff up there. So this is the other part of our roll, the tyres. This is the second part. As you can see, Simon straight with the tyre there. This is what we call the rubber stroke tyre emporium. As you can see, it's taking the top off the tyre so that we can have a look at underneath and then it gives better grip for the driver. 
maybe of the fleet, and a little rigid. This basically carries all the boarding and the flooring and the tyres. And this generally goes with us everywhere. And this, this is like the tyre office. And then all down the side of the rigid, that has belly lockers as well. And that's just full up with, we carry cans of fuel if we need to, and extra tyres and rims and everything in there.